So unless you want endless amounts of laundry and no clean bras, throughout both of my breastfeeding journeys, with the exception of my breasts. So you can see how gorgeous the patterns are. Because I felt that it was one of those things that you could just do without and use a large muslin instead. It's your first time breastfeeding. The last thing you want is some device that comes with a huge booklet. And the second reason is, Please don't laugh. And I just feel like daddy can have a little bit of bonding time with baby if he is feeding them. It's because I actually feel like it heals pretty quickly. But I can 100% recommend to you my favorite brand, which is the... And it's actually quite clever. And let me tell you why on my shoulder day and night and have been for the last year. Highly recommended by pediatricians, especially in the US. And one tip for me is that when you are freezing your milk in the bags, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is extra, extra special because I am celebrating a whole year of breastfeeding. Woohoo! I know to some of you that might not seem like a huge milestone or something huge to celebrate, but to me it definitely is. I'm actually really proud of myself because when I set off on the journey of breastfeeding, I did not have a goal in mind or a time frame. I actually just took each day as it came, each week as it came, and now we are 12 months in and I am still going strong. Amaya and I are enjoying breastfeeding and I definitely want to keep going for a little while longer. I did the same with my eldest Jacob when I started breastfeeding him I did not know what to expect so I said to myself I am gonna go in this with no pressure at all at the end of the day if I can't breastfeed him I am all equipped to give him formula and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as your baby's fed then they are a happy and healthy baby so with Jacob I managed to get to 14 months and I was super happy and proud of myself then so with Amaya we are just gonna keep going and see where this journey takes us so I felt that this was a great time to share with you some of my tips and also to show you some of the products that I have been using over the last 12 months. They have been a huge support and helped me through my breastfeeding journey and they all happened to me from one of my favorite stores which is Mother Care Middle East. They are kindly sponsoring this video, which means all of the products that you see today can be found at Mother Care. I've done a similar video to this one where I talk about my breastfeeding journey and some more tips and hints that I can be sharing with you guys, so I will link it in the description box below. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, which I hope you do, and you want to stick around for more, I would love to have you around here. All you need to do is click on the subscribe button below where you will see some more videos from me and my family. Right, so let's talk breastfeeding. So the first product I want to talk to you about is an item that I used the most throughout both of my breastfeeding journeys, with the exception of my breasts, and that is a breast pump. Personally, I always knew that I wanted to express, mainly so that my husband is able to feed the baby, especially in the beginning. I feel like because they're so small, they're so dependent on their mums in the first few months at least, and I just feel like daddy can have a little bit of bonding time with baby if he is feeding them. And the second reason is, please don't laugh, was so that I could eventually get to the salon. And I know that you might think this is funny, but actually I needed to be able to leave my baby for at least three hours to go get my hair done at some point. I know it wasn't a priority, but it's gonna need to happen. So if I was exclusively breastfeeding, it just meant that I would need to not be away from my baby for more than two to three hours at a time, and I would just panic. But at least with expressing, I was able to leave baby with daddy and a bottle and get some peace and get my hair done. And over the years and throughout my breastfeeding journey, I have managed to test and try out a few breast pumps, but I can 100% recommend to you my favorite brand, which is the Medela Breast Pump range. No matter how many I try, I always keep going back to Medela. I've got a couple of their models, and let me tell you, they are not only reliable, their suction is great, and they're so easy to use.
So imagine your first time mum, it's your first time breastfeeding. The last thing you want is some device that comes with a huge booklet and you can't figure out how to use. With Medela, it is so easy to use and I can tell you based on experience, but it also comes with a card, like a little instruction card, and it tells you in a few easy steps and a few buttons how you can start expressing. The Swing Flex is the one that I'm currently using and basically it has a personal fit breast shield which makes pumping a more tailored experience not only because all of our breasts look different and are different shapes but even throughout our breastfeeding journey our own breasts do change shape. So this can tailor to the shape of your breast and also the size. You can rotate it to make you feel as comfortable as possible with making sure that you're getting as much milk supply as possible. So another thing that I really like about this model is that you can double pump which means that you can express both of your breasts at the same time, saving you a lot of time, but also your milk supply. So in the beginning, when I first started on my breastfeeding journey with Jacob, I was expressing one breast at a time. And what I didn't realize was that as soon as I stimulated my breast to produce milk, I had what is known as the letdown. So your milk starts to come through. And because I was only expressing one breast, I was losing so much milk from the other one. So now that I've learned, I can express both of them, which also helps to save my milk. Amaya is now 12 months old, so I am not having to express half as much as I was doing before. In fact, I'm only expressing once a day. And as much as I would recommend that when you do start expressing, you do it first thing in the morning because that is when your milk supply is at its highest. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time right now with our lifestyle. I feed Amaya and then I've got to get both of their breakfast ready. So instead, I dedicate 10 p.m. every night as my pumping session. And the reason for that time, I used to dream feed Amaya at 10 p.m. every night I up until a few months ago when we dropped that dream feed so I just decided to keep telling my body to produce the same amount of milk by expressing every night which means I have enough stored for whenever I have to leave the house and daddy can give her some milk. And once I express, I store the milk in these Dr. Brown storage bags, which I've actually been using throughout the years. And I find them to be really good because they're extra thick. They're easy to tear off at the top, but also they can fit up to six ounces of milk, which is great because I just feel like the ones that are five ounces never quite give me enough. And one tip for me is that when you are freezing your milk in the bags, you lay that bag flat until it freezes. And then it means that it makes it easy for you to store it because they're all level and stacked up really nicely. And of course, you can find these at Mothercare Middle East. And when it comes to bottles, I have always sworn it by the Dr. Brown range. This brand has never failed me with both of my kids, especially Jacob. He was such a colicky baby and I would do anything just to try and prevent any air going into his little tummy. And these with their vent system really did help us. I am not surprised that these are highly recommended by pediatricians, especially in the US, because not only have they helped babies that suffer with colic because of the vent system, but also I feel like the milk flow resembles that breastfeeding. So it really makes it easy for your baby to transition from breast onto bottle as well. A few months ago, we transitioned Amaya onto a sippy cup, so that is how we serve her her milk. But up until then, the Dr. Brown bottles were the only ones that she took to. And of course, you can find this range at Mother Care. Something else that I would recommend you get when you start your breastfeeding journey is a nursing pillow. And this is the one that we have been using recently and it's called a Clever Cushion from Mother Care. And it's actually quite clever. And let me tell you why. Not only does this help you, so everything from your back and your posture, but also make sure that your baby is nice and supported during a feed. And the reason why this is a clever cushion is because it's not only a nursing pillow, but it transforms into so many other things. You can use it as a baby nest, a portable bolster, tummy time support, and so many other uses. And I also like the fact that it's clever foam technology. I love the fact that we've said clever foam, helps to reduce flathead syndrome. And that was something that I always used to worry about my two when they were in the push chair.
Something else I want to talk about today is a nursing cover. And I'll be honest with you, with my firstborn, I actually didn't bother purchasing one of these because I felt that it was one of those things that you could just do without and use a large muslin instead. However, now that I've actually discovered them with Amaya, I would definitely say they have huge benefits. The number one benefit for me is that it gave me so much more confidence to feed in public. I was always so worried about being exposed and if the muslin was on right and if Amaya was pulling it off or it fell down. Down. Not that you've got to be ashamed of feeding in public, but it just would give me more comfort if I felt that everything was just hidden under this cover. And this definitely did the job. Don't get me wrong, I always used a large muslin in the past and that was fine too, but I just felt that it was never big enough and all the other worries that I had in the back of my mind of what if it fell down or what if the baby actually pulled it off. So with a nursing cover, you don't really have to think about all these things. In fact, you can just focus on the fact that you are outdoors, having a coffee or having a chat with a friend instead. I also love the fact that it's breathable and it's safe, it fits really nicely into our changing bag and it washes really easily. Another item that I couldn't do without throughout my breastfeeding journey has to be a muslin and these guys would literally live on my shoulder day and night and have been for the last year. I just feel like I'm always gonna need one for so many reasons. And the brand that we have been loving recently is called Malabar Baby. So you can see how gorgeous the patterns are. They're super soft, really easy to wash, and you can find them at Mother Care Middle East. And finally, a couple of items that I wanna show you that I have been using pretty frequently over the last year, one of them being nipple cream. So this is great for when you have dryness or cracked nipples. And the reason I like the Medela one, so this one is from Mother Care and it's the Medela brand, is because I actually feel like it heals pretty quickly. And breast pads are an absolute must have, especially in the beginning. So unless you want endless amounts of laundry and no clean bras, then go get yourself some breast pads. These are from a brand called Avent, which is found in mother care. And the reason why I say that you need them, your body is still getting used to the whole supply and demand with your baby's feedings, especially in the beginning. So you are likely to be a little bit engorged or in the middle of the night, you could wake up in a pool of your own milk. So to avoid that, you need to make sure you've got breast pads and especially pop them in at night. So that brings me to the end of today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Mother Care Middle East for kindly sponsoring this video. I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and if you have any tips or comments on breastfeeding then I definitely want to hear them and I'm sure other viewers would too. So please pop them in the comments box below and as always I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye! I have used them throughout my breastfeeding journey. Breastfeeding? We're able to transition from breast onto boob. Well, Medela made life so much easier for me because I was super overwhelmed, super? 12 months that have been a massive, huge, a massive, huge. We felt we're ah. Great time to share with you my journey. Mm, 15 months we got to. And like, oh, I was doing so well.